Hey everyone, Aaron here, and it's time for my filament review of Polymakers Polylight PLA. Let's get started. Okay, so I started off with Benchy. Turned off all the cooling, see what it would do. Turns out not so hot. That shouldn't be due to my setting, uh, the filament, just my settings. For whatever reason, it just blobbed up around here on the bottom half. And it turned out to start printing better, but I think the fan actually turned back on at the top of it. Next, I printed XYZ calibration cubes. Uh, I printed at 195, 215, and 230 degrees Celsius. The only problem I had was working with the first one was right here you can kind of see where it came up off the bed and warped. So, not too bad. Next, I tried to tune in my retraction settings. So, naturally I grabbed a bunch of these guys and wanted to see what it would do. So, not too bad, I had some stringing, still minor stringing, but still stringing. Then it get it set in as I like, but it works. Okay, so from there, I decided to move on to a couple more benches. So they didn't turn out too bad. Um, you can kind of see kind of a little matte gloss finish to it. Um, certain parts of it actually look a lot brighter, uh, shinier. Not sure why, but they do. So you can see from the sides here the uh, shine forum then over here on the other sides you can kind of see the right there on all of them what happened to them so not too bad so i decided to uh, move on from those guys and print me an onyx yes onyx printed in black but poor onyx the support decided to shift and he got string jaw and yeah no recovering from that so not happy with it don't know why it came up but it did it happens all right so i decided to print the blue spirit mask from avatar the last airbender i enjoyed the anime show not the movie so it turned out fairly decent. I had to scale it down way down because it's too wear. So I wasn't going to wear it. This made it a lot faster for me to print. Next, I decided to print the Dragon Priest Mask from Skyrim. It actually turned out a lot better than the Blue Spirit Mask. So yeah, not too bad quality. I do plan on cleaning them both up and painting them. And then I went on from that and I printed this helmet. It is a Mass Effect helmet. Yeah, I printed it upside down like this. Turned out fairly decent. Uh, all the supports were around the outside of it, so it looks a bit rough. You can kind of see down there and on the inside, the mess ups on it. And here is my second one I printed. So yeah, I printed them both upside down. And then it didn't turn out too bad. I will clean them both up and try to get them a paint job. And then from there, I decided to go and print this guy. It is, let me guess, the Flash Hider for Han Solo's DL44 Blaster. It, that's just what it says. It's called the Flash Hider in the file. So yeah, it turned out great. I cleaned up a couple of these holes just to see what it would look like. Um, I printed it all on a raft. Yeah, it turned out fairly great. A little bit of cleanup on the inside. Um, but yeah, all in all, happy with it. So would I recommend this filament to anybody? Yes, I would. I think it's a good filament. It's, it prints well. So yeah. Good quality, decent price. The, uh, the interesting thing about the filament is it's actually got a, a rough texture feel to it. Um, so when it prints, it's got that uh, matte gloss to it, 
which is very interesting. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. I wonder if it's got something to do with it. Um, the texture. Um, so yeah, I recommend it. I'll have down below the links to their website and to the Amazon link for the film that you can purchase. Um, yeah, pretty decent thing. Um, I do have to mention that they do not ship it as of right now, last I talked to them, anywhere but the United States. I don't exactly know why, but that's what they told me. Um, and the colors you get right now, more to come, but right now you got red, black, blue, white, and gray. So yeah, fairly decent. I got the black one. Um, so yeah, I recommend it. Uh, I do have to state that Polymaker did not reimburse me in any way on this. This is just my true unbiased opinion on the filament for what I think about it. So. If you guys want to give it a shot, link's down below, and I hope you enjoy it. This is Aaron, the Handy Outdoor Nerd, and I hope you all have a great day. Until then, happy printing.